For the purposes of this discussion, the one that actually strikes me as the most interesting mm. about you is that you talk very openly about being a person of faith. Mm. And I, I want to understand how you connect that to this issue of climate change and our custodianship of the earth and our moral responsibilities, because we've got enough time to talk about the science and yep. what you're going to do about it. But you often bring faith into the discussion of why we need to do the right thing. Does that apply to the climate? I think it does because I think climate is a moral issue and this is about stewardship. It is about justice, justice among people living on the earth right now, some of whom are more vulnerable to the impacts of climate change than others, but also justice between generations, right? If it matters how the choices you make in your life help or hurt another human being, then I think it matters into the future too, even if you don't see or share the same time with the people that you're helping or hurting. Uh, look, my party has historically been a little bit allergic to talking about faith for what I actually consider to be a very good reason. And that is that we have seen the consequences of someone's faith being imposed on somebody mm -hmm. else. And so we need to make sure that we honor the idea of standing for people of every religion and no religion equally. But I also think there's, an, there's a moment here where we should invite those who are motivated by religious moral considerations to know that those are some of the things that are at stake in what we're doing to this to this planet i remember uh interacting with a uh a senior republican elected official who will remain nameless during the one of the times that we were having uh, terrible flooding in south bend and uh I was saying, look, we could really use some help, and I think we've reached the point where we know that this is the sort of thing that's going to increase. And she said, well, uh, you know, God is doing all kinds of things. You never know what's happening. And, and, and I said, yeah, okay, but, but we have increased frequency and severity of, of weather events that are harming us just as we've, has been predicted. And she said something else about God. And I just kept thinking, what greater sin than to blame God for something people are doing that is harming other people? Right. This is a moral challenge, and it's up to us to do something do about it. Do you think that might resonate with some people? There's a, a you know, small group of people who still uh, deny the science, uh, but who, for whom faith might be a, a door into this topic. I think as long as we're transparent about our own beliefs and motivations, then we should open up every door we can find right. to get toward action on this issue. It's why, and I'm sure we'll, we'll touch this uh, more during our conversation, but it's why I think we should work really hard to engage rural America. Mm -hmm. It's why we should work very hard to engage workers in industry and make sure they can picture a role in this transition besides that of victim. And yes, I think people who are in historically conservative areas, who are motivated by faith, but uh, also uh, uh, for that very reason, have, uh, I think, cause to care about the impact of the choices we're making, uh, we should absolutely be uh, engaging that kind of reasoning as well. So hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.